Now in part C, we're asked to work out the value of V, find V. And to do this, what we should know now is that the area under the whole graph then represents the total distance covered. And we know that distance was 400 meters. So we can say then that therefore 400, okay, must be equal then to this area. So we've got the area of the first part here. We found it in part B. It was 310. So we've got 310. And we just need to add this to the area of this shape. So what is this shape? Well, it's a trapezium. And as I said in part B, to find the area of a trapezium is very easy. All we need to do is do the sum of the parallel sides. That's those two times it by the distance apart and divide that by 2. So we know this length up here it's 5 units so put that as 5. We know this length it's V units so we'll put plus V. Multiply this sum of the parallel sides then by the distance apart which is 20 units and divide that all by 2. So we've just got to solve this equation now for V. And it's up to you how you manipulate this, but I can spot, for instance, that this 2 divides into the 20 10 times, so I might as well take that up and get rid of the fraction here. I could now take 310 from both sides, so we've got 400 minus 310 leaves us with 90 equals, and then just expand this bracket. We've got 10, well no actually I don't think I want to expand the bracket because I can see that I could divide both sides now by 10. But that's up to you. If I divide both sides by 10 I'm therefore going to have 9 equals 5 plus V. And if I take 5 from both sides I end up with V equaling 4. So there you go, V is 4 or 4 meters per second is that speed that the girl crosses the finishing line with.